Hey everybody, Adam here with E-Trailer. Today, we're taking a look at the Durabilt shoring beam for your E-Track. We can use this in two different situations. If we want to just make sure our load isn't gonna shift, this is gonna be great for that. It has a working load limit of 2,200 pounds. So for us, we have a lot of fifth wheels, a lot of tires and stuff that we're transporting from this warehouse to the next. And we put these in here just to keep everything separate so they're not shifting around. Because we do have nice floors in this box truck, but they are kind of slick because they're so fresh and maintained. So it's gonna help everything kind of stay put so it's not shifting around and damaging products while we're transferring them over. But also just kind of for organization, you know, if we're dropping off at a bunch of different places, it's like, okay, grab all the boxes and once you hit the bar, you're good. Kind of reminds me of when I go grocery shopping and you put that little bar in between your stuff and the person in front of you. It's kind of like that. So organization and just keeping everything nice and still when you're on the move. So the bread and butter of this is the E-Track. So these aren't gonna come undone or anything like that. You see some which is rubber pads that just push up against the wall. Those at a certain point will start to slide off. They don't even have a weight limit just because obviously if enough weight goes on, it's just gonna fall down. This one is not gonna fall down as long as you install your E-Track correctly. If you don't have E-Track, grab them. You can grab really long ones like this or if you know exactly where you want it, we have single E-Tracks as well. You just wanna make sure they're the same height and perfectly across from each other. But to take it out, just like any E-Track, go like that, and then you can take it off the other side. What I like about this is, all you really have to do is hang that one side on the bottom end and then go like this, and it should snap into place on its own, which is nice, and then you take it like this, do the same thing over here, and it snaps into place. So you don't really have to have your hand here and your hand here, so you can do it all on your own. We do have a telescoping shoring bar. So there's a big one and then there's a small one that goes inside of it. And it goes from 94 and 13 16 inches long to 105 and 13 16 inches long. And it's not that heavy because it is made of aluminum. So if you have it on a trailer that's gonna experience a little bit of rain or moisture, this isn't gonna rust away. And it's only about 19 pounds, so it's not that heavy. 19 pounds gets you 2,200 2, pounds of capacity. I think that's a pretty good deal. It all depends on your situation. We have a lot of different shoring bars and cargo bars on our website. Basically, they're just gonna range in sizes. So we have some that'll fit in the bed of your truck to divide up some cargo. Those aren't gonna be E-Track. We're also gonna have some little bit larger ones. So if you don't know exactly where you need your stuff, we carry pallets. So we know all these E-Tracks are at this height. All of our pallets are gonna be above this point. So it works. But if the load starts to change and the situation changes, it might be best just to go with one that just has the pads on the side. But again, just go on our website, figure out exactly which one that you want for your specific situation. And if you do need E-Track 2, we got that as well. And that'll do it for a look at the Durabilt shoring beam for your E-Track.